In this video, we're going to help you to withdraw from Coinbase, showing you how to sell your crypto and cash out to a bank account or back to a card, or simply how to withdraw your crypto to the likes of a wallet. And there's going to be a timeline in the video description below, as well as some links to some popular tools and signups. Plus, we've also got a full Coinbase tutorial available if you're looking for a little bit more. First up, how to sell and withdraw. So if you feel that now is the right time to take some profits in traditional currency and essentially cash out, the first thing we need to do is sell our crypto from Bitcoin and into a fiat currency like GBP or Euros. Because a bank obviously can't accept cryptocurrency like Bitcoin. In the same way that some banks won't accept other currencies like US dollars or Great British Pounds or other assets like gold. Once we've sold our crypto for fiat currency, we can then withdraw that back to our bank account. So let's sell our Bitcoin first. From my assets, if you select the crypto you want to sell, which in my case is going to be Bitcoin, then over on the right hand side of the screen, you've got your options for buy, sell and convert. Now, if you don't have the sell option available, it could be down to your region. If you're a new account holder, haven't completed verification or recently bought. And for anti-fraudulent reasons, sometimes they will restrict you selling or withdrawing, especially when you've purchased with a card. Mine is available, so I'm going to select sell. Then I enter the amount of Bitcoin I'd like to sell, or I can choose to sell all. This time, the sell currency is currently in GBP, but if you prefer, you can convert this to BTC. I'm going to choose max. And under two is where I'm selling that to, which is my GBP wallet in this example, so I can show you how to withdraw that to your bank account. Then review order. In the order preview, it shows the price you're selling your Bitcoin at, any associated fees for selling, which is a £2.99, and then the total payout that you're going to receive, which includes the spread. I'm going to go ahead and sell now. And the sell order will complete immediately. If we head back to My Assets and Cash and Digital Cash, you'll see the funds are now showing under my British Pound wallet. If we click onto there, on the right there's an option to withdraw cash. And you can choose to cash out all or enter the amount you'd like to withdraw then continue. We then select the destination of where we'd like to send these British pounds to. If you've already used a bank account or a card, they're going to display in this list. And you can add more cards and bank accounts from here too. You'll then see a breakdown of where you're sending to, the amount and the fee which is free. When I choose to cash out now, the money then withdraws. So that was how to sell and cash out of Coinbase. But next, let's take a look at how to withdraw your crypto instead if you hadn't already sold it. If you're looking to hold your crypto for the long term, just be aware that Coinbase.com is not a wallet, it's an exchange. With centralized exchanges, you don't have access to your private keys. And in the world of cryptocurrency, this isn't recommended because you are entrusting a third party to look after your crypto. Exchanges can also go down and without your private keys, your crypto will go down with it. One of the safest ways to store your crypto is using a hardware wallet like a Ledger or a Trezor, where your crypto is stored offline and away from any potential harm. And I've got links for these different tools in the description below. So let's have a look at how you can withdraw and send your crypto to another wallet or another platform now. From My Assets, locate the asset you'd like to send. Click on the three dots to the right and choose Send. And you can see that there's also a Send option on the right here too. Next, we state where we're sending the crypto to. If you have sent before, your wallet addresses may appear under favorites or recents, or simply paste in the deposit or the receive address of the wallet or the exchange that you'd like to send your crypto to. Just make sure though that if you are sending Bitcoin, you've copied and pasted in a Bitcoin address in the to field, as unfortunately, just making simple mistakes can result in loss. In fact, as I said earlier, it may also be worth sending a test amount first before you send your crypto. Then select the network that you're using to transfer your crypto on, which also displays a network fee. In the world of crypto, when you send transactions on any blockchain, you will need to pay fees for that to be processed. And the fee that you pay will depend on the blockchain that you're sending on. As you can see, the fee right now is relatively low at 29 cents. Then enter the amount that you'd like to send or choose max. And just note here that this is in dollars again now. At the very bottom of the screen is where you can add a note to help you track this transaction, for example by entering the name of the wallet or the platform you're sending it to. If you then preview, 
you may then find you're asked where you're sending to, depending on your location, which you'll need to complete. Then you'll see a preview of where you're sending your crypto to, the network and the approximate send time. At the bottom is the total minus the network fee. When you're happy, you can send now and just wait for the estimated time to complete and your crypto will then reach its destination. If this video helped you, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe for more tutorials, and I've also added sign up links to Coinbase as well as some useful tools in the description below. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.